Hey, what's up, guys? This month, I'm going to be going over Asian stuff, and I'll say old-school Asian stuff. Uh, the old animes, the old uh, uh, kung fu movies, the monster movies, and all the other weird stuff in between, pretty much from the 70s and the 80s, you know, and also some other things I'll throw in, but, uh, and a segue into comics. Okay, real quick, this comic, right, it's an adaption of Space Pirate Captain Harlock, famous 70s, 80s anime character created by Liji Matsumoto, okay? This comic is no on the shelves. This is the best comic on the damn shelves, okay? It's far and ahead away beyond anything that's that's on there. And it's selling actually pretty well, uh, you know, I've heard. So that's a good sign, okay? I won't even get into who Harlock is right now. I'm just going to show you the art. Okay? It's a French artist adapting uh, a very popular anime character in France. Okay? Why was it popular? Well, first off, just look at his art. Look at this. Okay? Uh, the enemies in this are an all-female race called the Mazons, right? like the Amazons, who uh, want to take over Earth. But, but they, were, they were on Earth before humans, so they just want to come back to Earth. And uh, it's just an interesting kind of a, a secret war going on, and the humans... We're now in charge because there's a whole thing I'll explain later. But uh, the human governments are corrupt. Uh, he's uh, the the hero himself uh, mentions the decadence, okay, uh, and the corruption of what's left of humanity and their government. And to save, to try to save Earth and fight for Earth, the guy has to become a damn pirate, okay. And look at that art. And that is, you see that, Captain Abator. Mort or, or I can't speak the French, but that means dead or alive. Okay? Now, uh, but just look at this art. Look at look at this art. Look how much you get for the price, okay? But look at the art, okay? It, it's digital, but it's also drawn, hand drawn, as you'll see in the back. Uh, right. And in the end, he has sketches. Look, you get the blue pencil, which I need to get my hands on again. Amazing art. You know, all the digital stuff aside, you have to, you know, you have to be, you have to do the pencils. Look at that. Okay. Uh, get this comic. Okay. Now, who's Captain Harlock? Captain Harlock was invented, was a character created by Liji Matsumoto, right? Uh, better, oh, the guy who made Space Cruiser Yamato. Very interesting Japanese manga artist, okay? Known for his Japanese nationalism, but not, how can I say it? He's not a... A, he's not a, he's definitely anti-war. His father was a, a fighter pilot who survived World War II. Okay, but his stories, uh, and they frequently mention the war, as you'll see. Uh, his stories are pretty much anti-war, but, the, you know, it's the Japanese sense of it, it's never going to end. Okay, and the interesting thing about Harlock is that he was a military man. Uh, the earth was conquered while he was gone. When he came back, uh, he found... Uh, it was such a hopeless situation. He lost his, his beloved. He lost his eye. Uh, and everybody hated him. They blamed him for it. And the Earth traitors, of which there's a lot of traitors. The Earth government working with the aliens that took over the Earth at that point. He has to become a pirate to be a resistance fighter. Okay? Uh, and that's what he does. But he's a very honorable, stoic character of German descent, by the way. Um... Uh, Matsumoto feels pretty uneasy about Americans for some reason, <laughs> which uh, I totally concur with. But he made his Western character descended from uh, the German people. Mm. Am I being jingoistic? Yeah, a little bit. No, but just the art in general is amazing. Uh, and the story is amazing too. You have female enemies. But the thing too, and I'll bring real quick, is that... Um, the the manga came out in the seventies. There was a TV show about it where he fights these these Amazons. Then they made a movie, My Youth in Arcadia, which was his origin with dealing with other aliens who are pretty much supposed to be the Americans occupying Japan. Uh, and there's uh, scenes in that. But the the enemies, as as ruthless as they can be, and as much as he'll fight them, there's many honorable enemies in there. There's many people. That he gives respect to, and when he does that, he puts his uh, his rapier blaster. At the end of it's like a gun. It's cool. He'll he'll put it up to his face, you know, to, as a sign of respect. Uh, he's stoic. The guy goes through a lot. It's amazing the heroism that the that is encapsulated 
in, in this character. And like I said, this comic, there's three other issues so far. I think it's still coming out amazing. And also his buddy here, Tuchiro. He's like a goofy looking dude, right? But he's not. He was a very serious character, very cool character who unfortunately was killed. You know, I think in the second television series. Uh, and you see like, <laughs> you see the, you know, Jikasaki. It's kind of cool. So, uh, it has that aspect of the old animes, okay? Uh, there's, a, there's a sentimental streak, there's a melancholic streak in a lot of them. Uh, and anyway, uh, I'll link to some other things in this video, but get this comic, A Blaze, right? What is this? A Blaze Publishing dot com. This guy's Jerome Alacui. Get these comics. These are so much better than the than, than listen. Eighty percent of the comics on the shelves are short haired women, uh, you know, who look angry. Okay, you want a, you want a real hero from the past, uh, a man who almost has to be a dissident and an outlaw from his society because he represents all the values. Then get this, get this comic, man. Okay, I'm gonna show a scene. There's actually a really cool, uh, a very beautiful. Probably, I think remastered version of My Youth in Arcadia. It was a film that came out in 82. Explaining his origin, uh, Harlock's origin. Harlock is of German descent. So there's a scene in the film where his, two of his ancestors are shown. And one of his ancestors is a pilot for the Luftwaffe. What the hell? Man, it's not dubbed. There is a dubbed version, but this clear version is not that one. Right. And there's, there's the ancestor to cheer. He's a Japanese guy created this site. Right. So now this is World War II. Oh man, what is this? Oh, they call him the M4. <laughs> and the planes look more accurate, but. Oh, the 88s. Get him! Yeah, oh, come on, get him! That's, I guess, a panther. That's it. Messer Schmidt. <laughs> I think I put a pirate thing on his uh, cross. Yeah. Uh, are you seeing any cartoons with this stuff in it? I'm just saying. Okay, that's a reference to the future. Uh, descent, his descendant and his ship, the Arcadia. Right, high Nail. He's actually going to fly him to Switzerland to try to get him out of uh, you know, Germany, which is now being annihilated. And who's that guy? Oh, I just wanted to show this because this is a bit. Oh, oh, oh my God! <gasps> this is a huge deal now. Okay, uh, with, when this when this is brought up in anime circles now, American anime circles, uh, English speaking anime circles, this is a big deal. The fact that this character is flying a plane that has that symbol on it, which of course is historical. Yeah, get that Spitfire. Get him. Get him. That's it. And they, they always, they, there's a big kind of cognitive dissonance over the fact that this guy is fighting for his country. Right? Right? Uh, it's, you know, it's just interesting that, yeah, they were on the plane. So, anyway, I just wanted to show that. Okay? Obviously, uh, uh, there's other, there's a thing called the cockpit, which is more World War II stuff dealing with the Germans and the Japanese in the war. Right off the bat, it's just to see this. Uh, it's interesting. It's refreshing. It's from another time. It's from another viewpoint. Right? Uh, obviously, Space Cruiser Yamato takes the battleship Yamato and makes it the savior of the Earth. Uh, you know, when they get it off the bottom of the ocean. So, I thought that was interesting. But I want to show you something else from this same film. Great movie, by the way. Okay, here's an example of the character uh, near the end of the film where his main enemy, the Earth Occupation uh, leader, uh, the Illuminators, the, uh, I think that's how they're pronounced, 
who are supposed to be the Americans, right? Uh, they have a final battle. Okay, uh, and watch this. The whole idea of the honorable enemy. Right. Now this this guy they're talking about. Uh, you see this in Gundam a lot. Late, you know, which is around the same time. Right. Right, this is the future, obviously, these are the descendants, but Harlock and Tachiro. This guy here, it was the enemy throughout the whole film. Yeah, yeah they were, weren't they? Young guys talking about how bad the animation is from the old days. You could go fuck yourselves. All right, this is hand drawn. This is great. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Yeah, exactly. Oh, anyway. So that's an example of what you had in uh, Captain Harlock. Anyway, in conclusion, uh, I just say I recommend this. Get this comic, okay? This artist here, this French artist, Jerome Aliquet, is amazing. Uh, there's an interview with him on YouTube I'll link to. Um, and it goes to show you, right? One thing I wanted to add to the end of this is that, um, you know, in the English-speaking country, you had Japanese cartoons come kind of hit or miss, right? Until like Robotech, okay, my, one of my favorite shows. But uh, in France and Italy, okay, you had Japanese manga, you had uh, anime TV series being translated into uh, the respective languages since the 1970s, okay. Mobusu Gundam, six months after it premiered in Japan, it was being dubbed into Italian and shown on Italian television, okay. And all the works of Go Nagai and Ozamu Tuzeka and all, all those dudes. Was already being printed in Italian and French, so and of course Captain Harlock, like I said, was very famous in France as a character in the '80s. So it's amazing how these uh, Mediterranean countries were ahead of the curve over the English-speaking uh, countries on that level. So and I wanted to give them credit for that. Okay, of course they love the giant robot stuff, but as you know, the giant robot stuff got uh, very dramatic. And that's the whole thing with the old school Japanese stuff. Very dramatic. People are still remember the war, right? Always the war. Uh, uh, and uh, at this point, watching them now, since I'm an older guy uh, who could care less about digital uh, animation, uh, I, I like these older cartoons uh, and artwork and stuff. I like the older things. I don't care what people say. I guess I've reached that point. And something tells me a lot of you also have done that. So anyway... Buy this comic, man. This is this is it. This is as good as it gets at this point. And this is pretty good, you know, uh, even back in the day. So, all right. Sayonara.